So I want to tell you about really quite an exciting paper about a new very white paint. Not only is it very white, but it can actually cool things down, act a bit like air conditioning when it's hot outside. Before that, let me just remind you how a greenhouse works. And a greenhouse, as you know, has sunlight shining on it. It gets warmer inside than it is outside. And the way that it works is that the sunlight, which is short wavelength light, can go through the glass and it's absorbed by whatever is inside the greenhouse, the plants and so on. They get warm up because they've absorbed the sunlight and then they give out heat a much longer wavelength and that heat radiation cannot get out through the glass. The heat is trapped inside and it gets very hot. Now this paint works in the exact opposite way. It uses a material called barium sulphate. It's quite easy to make. I asked Neil to make some for us. And you take a solution of barium chloride. Barium is the element two below calcium in the periodic table. So you make a solution dissolving the barium chloride in water and you get a colourless solution. And then you add dilute sulfuric acid and barium sulphate is insoluble or almost insoluble in water. So you get a sort of snowstorm of tiny barium sulphate crystals precipitating out. And it looks really beautiful. You see these swirling clouds. Brady, who's hard to impress, wanted to see it twice. So it is a really nice reaction. It's also quite a good test for barium if you want to show that you've got a solution of barium. Add a little sulfuric acid, down it comes. However, what has been done in this very recent article is that they have used a mixture of different size particles of barium sulfate and mixed it in a binder so you can make white paint. Normally, the white paint that you and I use uses titanium dioxide, TiO2, which reflects visible light, but absorbs ultraviolet light and also absorbs infrared light. So if you have something painted with titanium dioxide, it reflects the visible light, but absorbs the UV and infrared so the surface gets warm from the sun. This new paint reflects nearly all the wavelengths from the sunlight. So all the energy of the sun is sent back again. And because of all these different size particles, it's much more effective than titanium dioxide paint. But, and here's the exciting thing, barium sulfate is transparent in the infrared. So the heat radiating out from whatever is under the paint can go through the barium sulphate paint and radiate out into space or into the atmosphere. So what is below is giving out heat, but it's not receiving any heat from the sunlight. So it can be colder than the air outside or the warmth from the sun. So you can get something that is called radiative cooling. And according to this article, even in winter, when it's really cold, the surface under the paint can be cooler than the paint itself. And their suggestion is that if we all painted the roofs of our houses white, it would give us a really effective way of keeping the house cool without using any source of energy as we would with air conditioning. Now, I'm not sure whether in this house you could paint the roof white, but in many countries it would be possible. 
and this could really be quite a big advance in providing a nice cool environment for us to live without adding to the CO2 emissions that will contribute to global warming. Individual micron scale, um, micron diameter particles and you can see that they're moving across, you can see them moving around in the solution and they're joining on here, they're aggregating at the edge, they're falling out of solution.